Elden Ring may be getting new locations and ray tracing, according to a new report. So let's talk about it. Elden Ring was the loudest game in early 2022, but in the past couple months, From Software has been fairly quiet. However, now the game has a new patch available that rebalances PvP, lays the groundwork for a wider PvP shuffle, and has added hidden references to new maps. If the back-to-back -back use of player versus player didn't give it away, Patch 1.07 is almost exclusively multiplayer focused. The biggest change is the addition of separate damage scaling for PvP battles, a change that the game's community has lobbied for since its release. Most PvPers contend that the damage values on many of Elden Ring's most popular weapons and Ashes of War are inflated, which leads to short battles where a single mistake means life or death. Besides this, the patch includes a general nerf to all Ashes of War, as well as many adjustments specific to certain weapons. As for the tease of new locations, prolific Souls hacker Lance McDonald claims this patch also adds references to maps that aren't in the game yet on a raw code level. It also adds some code that appears to be related to ray tracing options that don't exist yet in the game's menu either. This would seem to indicate that fresh single player content for the game is coming at some point soon, though you shouldn't hold your breath just yet. There is no timetable for the Elden Ring DLC at this point, though considering the game has sold almost 17 million copies in six months, it seems like it's inevitable. Not to mention the game awards are fast approaching. And my prediction is that we see Elden Ring sweep and take home a lot of awards and then drop the DLC news at the event. I'll even take it a step further and say it's available the day of the announcement, but it's not a surprise because it leaks early by showing up in a console storefront before it's quickly taken down. Actually, I won't even limit it to just console storefronts. Let's include a possible leak on Steam as well. And speaking of the store named after Water Vapor, the Steam mobile app has gotten a complete aesthetic overhaul and a bunch of new features to boot, including new login options and remote downloads. As in previous releases, the Steam mobile app enables two-factor authentication on Steam. However, more login options are now available, including scanning a QR code with your phone in the app or sign-in confirmation. You can now also customize notifications, enabling you to receive notice whenever a game on your wishlist goes on sale or you get a friend request. The app also lets you manage account details like the PC application. You can browse community pages, news, your library, and the store on the go. None of that is new, but improvements have been made to the browsing interface and you can now download games on your PC remotely. Using the Steam market and trading now requires confirmations, making transactions more secure in theory. The app can now also support multiple accounts and you can manage devices with access to your Steam account from the app. Hit the comment section and let us know what you want from Elden Ring DLC. We'll see you tomorrow.